Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss how to register for TCS Code Beta. So first go to the link codebeta.tcsapps.com. So here there is an option called register. Click this. So here you have to give the username, but we don't have an username, so we have to register first. So click register. Select the country. I'll select the country as India. So here we have to give the name. I'll give my name and you have to give the last name. I'll give last name as G. So I have to give my email ID here. I've given me email ID. Now I have to give the username. So I'll give the username as Kamala Rasan Guna. Fine. And also make sure all the boxes are in green color. Only then it will be accepted. Then I'll click I consent to the overseas. Here you have to click here first. If you click this checkbox, it will not work. So you have to click here. You have to accept this. Then it will be automatically click. Then register. Here the username already exists, so I have to give some other username. So I'll give Tamil Aras Gunasekaran. I'll click register. Already still it has exist. So I'll give Tamil Aras Guna 8. So mail has been sent to the inbox. I have to verify and activate this account. I'll go to my mail. So I have received a mail, I'll click, so it is activated and the next step is we have to download any one of the authenticator either it is Google or Microsoft. So go to play store, you will be finding two authenticators Google or uh, Microsoft, download that authenticator. So once after downloading that authenticator, open the app. So when you open the app, you will have a plus option, click that, then there is an option called scan a QR code. So scan that. So when I scan this QR code, I'll be having the OTP. So I have to type the OTP here. It is a dynamic OTP. So make sure you're entering it fast. Fine. Then I have to give my mobile number to register here. So I'll give my mobile number. I'll receive an OTP here. So enter the OTP. Now our mobile number has been validated. Now I have to fill the academic year of graduation and the other detail. So here I'll give it as 26 past due. Nearest location I'll give it as Chennai. I have to give the institute name I'll give. And here there is a thing called CTDD reference. So without this you can save, but they have mentioned that if you left TMT, you will not get interview call even if you clear the round. So let's complete this as well. So to find the CTRDD reference ID, you have to go to TCS next step. So click TCS next step. Now we have to register in TCS next step so that we can get the CTDD reference ID. Okay. So click register now. Information technology and then click continue. Now I have to enter the mail ID. So I'll give. Okay. So it will request OTP. So now you would have received an OTP in your mail ID. Kindly enter that OTP. And then click submit OTP. Yes, the email has been verified. Then click continue. It will ask the last four digits of our other. And it will ask our date of birth. First name. 
there is no middle name and the last name then click I agree yes close this and then click continue okay so and then click the personal information it is Mr and then register and we have to give our mobile number so I will give nearest TVS office and give and then I will have to enter the college name and then I have to enter the college name qualification I have entered my qualification as Bachelor of Technology and year of passing as 2026 and enter the CAPTCHA 64527 and then click register Yes, confirm. Okay. So now I have got my reference ID. I will copy this and then I will paste here and then I will save it. So profile saved, 100% completed. That's all. The reason why we have to complete next step is in case if you are getting clear, using this CTDD reference list, they will call for your interview. So it is mandatory to complete this process and then click save. That's all.